Hey, what's up guys? Tech with Dave and uh, I'm back at it again with another Pokey PK Hex video and uh, I'm super excited today because uh, it's got a new plugin. It's called uh, the ALM and that's uh, an auto legality mod, which is this is the old PK Hex. Uh, I was able to make a couple and look at all my Pokemon. They're all illegal because uh, I, I played for fun. I got two Nintendo Switches, one's offline, one's online and I just mess around. But this is uh, it's super easy and um you're able to make a uh, competition pokemon you can download pokemon for smoking you can have event pokemon you can uh download the whole pokedex you know as far as the game pokedex goes and it's super simple you know so uh i do want to mention i forgot to mention on my last video that you do need a, a homebrewed switch and i was able a lot of you guys reached out to me on my instagram and i was able to help a lot of you guys out i sent you guys links i was there uh personal messaging you guys and I was with you guys uh, through some of the process uh, I don't have a discord so uh, Instagram is uh, a lot easier for you guys to get a hold of me if uh, you guys want me to make a discord let me know in the comments uh, for right now like subscribe the video let's get it out there and uh, I mean let's get it big you know so uh, let's get started uh, this is the old PK hex what we're gonna have to do first is uh, we're gonna download the PK hex file with the plugin it's, uh, I'm going to put the link down in the description below. We're going to go right here. Installation for dummies. We're going to go right here where it says release page. We're going to click on that. We're going to scroll down a bit. You're going to want to click on the ALM setup underscore stable dot exe. And that's going to be a program we're going to be downloading. So I downloaded it prior. That way I'm not searching through my download files. I, I download a bunch of stuff. And you're not going to be able to down, uh, open it uh, right away. It's going to give you a... Uh, protection some type or something but what you want to do you're going to want to click on properties make sure you're administrator by the way uh down here you're going to want to uh, click box the unblock button click apply click ok boom uh also make sure you have a, a zip type um something to extract your files it's going to extract right now and um it's going to bring uh, uh this little program up you're going to hit the enter button what it's going to do it's going to extract all the the files which is just basically a plugin so now we got a PK hex. It's going to download that for you. We'll plug it. So you're going to open it. And uh, automatically it's going to uh, open up my my PK hex file for uh, Pokemon Sword. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll remind you guys how to export your, your main file from Pokemon Sword uh, using Checkpoint. Uh, I'll show you how to install it as well. And, uh, you know, bring your main file in here and then how to export it back and put it back in there. That way you can have a uh, comp ready Pokemon, you know, it's, I don't recommend you do. I mean, it's unfair to a lot of guys out there, but you're talking to a guy in a leather jacket. So, um, I don't do it. You know, I don't recommend you do it, but, uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to do it. You guys, uh, a lot of you guys reached out to me and kind of asked me nicely to make Pokemon for you. And, uh, I, I turned a lot of you guys down because I, I don't do that, you know, I, I do this for fun. I go around the game. I make dumb Pokemon. And, okay. Before I get out, out of context, you know, a super easy program to use. Now what the plugin is, it's the auto legality mod right here. And what we can do, see, uh, most of my Pokemon are uh, illegal. What we can do right here, for instance, Gengar, he's, uh, blacklisted unable invalid moves unable to encounter uh origin game okay cool what we're gonna do we're gonna go auto legality mod legalize active pokemon boom notification legalize active pokemon it's cool what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it okay same with the bulbasaur view uh <laughs> i gave him a bunch of uh like crazy moves you know it's probably not gonna let me legalize him right away I can try. It's not going to be able to because of all the, the crazy moves I put. Obviously, you got to make the Pokemon uh, somewhat legit, you know, look them up, which you can do also watch. Like, uh, most of these guys are going to be able to, like, say, for instance, few Charizard. I don't have crazy moves on them. Legalize, boom. You know? You do, you set. Uh, the Pokemons, you're not going to be able to uh, really make uh, legal is uh, if you're putting... Uh, solar beam on a pokemon a squirtle you know you're not gonna be able to but uh you change them respectfully you're gonna be able to legalize them you can make them shiny uh this pokemon right here tools auto legalize 
Big of ice. So I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, grab a Pokemon for smoking. Say uh, Pikachu, Pikachu smoking. Okay. Uh, just for video purposes, you know. Got a Pikachu right here, right? Oh, he doesn't have a. Uh... Okay, we're gonna grab another charger. Sorry about that. Okay. Video purposes. Export. What you want to do? You're gonna copy uh, this down here. You're gonna go back to PK Hex Tools Auto Legality. Import with Auto Legality mod. It's gonna say import this set. This is the set we just copied for the Charizard, right? That's this same one over here. I copied it earlier. I wanted the Charizard. Okay. Got another one. Set. You want to make him shiny? Boom. Shiny. Set it again. It, it, it's super easy. You want to change his attacks. You want to change his stats. He's, you got 31 IVs all over the place. You know, it, it's going to work with just about any Pokemon. You want to uh, generate living decks. Let's get every Poke, Pokemon in the Pokedex. Okay. Boom. We got all our boxes full. You know, you want to make one of these guys shiny. Reroll shiny. Wait. Oh, come on, view. Uh, there it was. Okay, now he's shiny. What we're gonna do? We're gonna set. You know, it's super easy. It's like, I mean, I can help you guys out. You know, message me on my Instagram. I'll leave a link down in the description below, and I can help you guys if it's troublesome. But it's like, it's, it's super easy. And I have another video showing how to use a PK hex earlier. And if you want to watch that one, it's, it goes more in depth. But this is just I wanted to share with you guys uh, this new plugin. Say for instance, let's a uh, legality. Let's go uh, download MGDB. This is gonna be a uh, database of uh, event Pokemon. Okay, we'll drag one in right now. It's gonna take a second or two to download, and then uh, it's gonna be in this folder. Okay, events released. We're gonna go download finish. Okay, thank you. Go. We'll, uh, let's go Pikachu EV. Okay, wonder cards. Let's go Trainer Mew. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna drag him here. View. It's not legal. Legalize active Pokemon. Boom. Set. That's it. You know, original trainer Pokey Hex. You can change that. Uh, you probably won't be able to met location the Pokeball Plus. You know, you can probably change the trainer. That's right. There it is. Sorry about that. Uh, this you can change. But um, what I'm saying is you can have any illegal Pokemon go up here uh, with the exception of don't make, uh, you know, a Pokemon with, like I said, Leaf Storm, uh, Charizard. You know, you're not going to be able to use it compet competitively online. I'm telling you right now. But uh, if it's close to legal and your met location is off or your level you caught it at is off, it'll automatically fix it for you. It's awesome. I'm telling you this thing is the best and uh Hope this video helped. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave a video for the checkpoint at the end. I'm going to uh, close this video down. If this was helpful for you guys, uh, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, go. If you have any questions, like I said, go to my Instagram. Uh, I'll have a Discord up soon, hopefully. And uh, I'll help you guys out, you know. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Stay tuned for the checkpoint. Okay, guys, uh, we're back. Uh, thanks again if you stuck around this much. And I'm going to be showing you how to um, download Checkpoint. Checkpoint is essentially a program on the Nintendo Switch that you can uh, back up your save files. And that works uh, flawlessly with this because uh, it goes hand in hand. And uh, okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to, uh, I have the, the link down in the description below for uh, the latest Checkpoint. It's going to take you to the GitHub and uh, they always. Uh, have most updated for everything so uh now that we're at the checkpoint we're gonna go down and you want to click on the checkpoint dot nro that's gonna be the nintendo switch one as first two are gonna be for the nintendo 3ds so once we have that downloaded i've already downloaded it prior uh i have it on my desktop just for i don't have to be looking for files i think i gotta sneeze okay so uh as i mentioned prior you need a homebrew nintendo switch if you you do have a homebrew Nintendo Switch, your menu should look like this, your SD card, the root of it. If you don't, or you have not homebrewed and you're watching and you're curious, uh, message me on my Instagram. Uh, I'll help you out or I'll guide you in the right direction, help you from there. So once we have this um, file downloaded, the .nro, we're going to open up the Switch folder. 
once that's open we're going to drag this into the root of that folder replace file in the destination if you already have it it's just going to update it if you don't have it it'll slide right in okay it's going to be the program and uh once we're done with that inject your sd card back into your nintendo switch and we'll take it from there okay sweet now that we have checkpoint installed this is going to be our main source of backing up any files so you can back up files for uh pokin pokemon shield sonic the hedgehog but uh in our case it's going to be pokemon shield pokemon sword so to open up the checkpoint application we're going to hit r uh we're going to hold r we're going to press a continue holding r press a on the username and that should bring us up to the homebrew menu from there we're going to navigate to checkpoint we're going to hit that we're gonna go down to our uh, game of choice. We're gonna hit A, and we're gonna hit L. L is gonna bring us to the backup menu. Press A again, and video purposes, I'm gonna just name it 2-0, okay? So 2-0, I'm gonna hit the start button. It's been backed up, okay? It's right there. It's that simple. We're gonna go back to the PC th side of things, and we're gonna load it up into PK Hex, and we're gonna continue the video from there. See you there okay guys super cool now that we have our main file backed up that was maybe the hardest part okay so to find our uh game save file that we just backed up we're gonna go right here file open you want to look on your side where your nintendo switch uh sd card is at you're gonna want to open up your switch folder you're gonna want to open up checkpoint saves and it's gonna bring up all your titles so if you don't know your pokemon title id pokemon sword pokemon shield you can go to google type in pokemon sword title id you'll find it and once that is opened you're gonna see i saved it under 20 that's what the folder is called so uh, i got another backup save here you can back up as many as you want in any case you feel you did something wrong or something gets corrupt you want to make sure you have backups so i'm gonna hit 20 main and that opens up my uh my my backup so i'm gonna go ahead auto legality mod generate a living dex just boom whole pokedex i'm gonna uh to export this i'm gonna export the main file export sat export main i'm gonna override my main file save main already exists do you want to replace yes and that goes the same with uh legalizing mods making mods uh generating pokemon this is just super easy just to show you guys you know once that's done you can uh go ahead and close the program down we're gonna uh, eject our SD card, go back to checkpoint, and load that up, okay? Okay, guys, so this is actually uh, almost the end of the video, so if you guys stuck around, I want to thank you guys again, and uh, if you like uh, my type of content, leave a like, subscribe, uh, definitely helps me uh, make want to make more videos, so uh, we're gonna go uh, restore our file that we just made, so hold R, press A, Continue holding R, press A, and we're going to go back to our checkpoint folder right now. Once we're over there, we're going to hit on checkpoint, scroll down a bit, click A, go down to uh, the file you named it. Mine's was uh, 2 0. I'm going to hit R to restore file, press A, it's been successfully restored. And that's it, guys. So um, I, I hope you guys enjoy the new version of uh, PK Hex. It's been Tech with Dave, and uh, I'm out. Thanks for watching.